How's it going guys? Welcome to this tutorial. This time we're going to paint an Emperor's Children Chaos Space Marine. This is a pretty simple color scheme uh, and very effective to my opinion. And uh, it's uh, it has fewer steps than my other tutorials. And uh, it's pretty cool, I think. Uh, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you would like to see more videos and uh, we will start so I'm going to start with a black prime miniature because it'll save us a lot of time I used the surface primer from Vallejo with an airbrush and I'm not going to attach the bolter yet. I'm gonna use, start with a Screamer Pink base coat to the parts that we want to be pink. I thinned down the paint as always, uh, one to one with water, and I started applying uh, the base coat. Uh, the cool thing about the Emperor Children and uh, the uh, Red Corsairs and schemes like this is that you can alternate the parts that you're going to paint the the, the color either red or uh, or pink and makes a really unique uh, infantry and you can sort of play around with the color and uh, alternate the parts that are going to be a certain uh, color uh, what I'm doing here as you can see the paint will not cover too well in the first uh, coat probably uh, so you will need to give more than just one and uh, be patient just uh, leave the first coat to dry and apply a second or a third one until you are uh, happy just remember to let dry the previous coats before applying a new one and uh, using the black uh, undercoat the black primer is uh, very good because after applying the pink, uh, it, there is almost nothing else to paint but the metal and the uh, gold, which I'm going to paint now. Paint now. Uh, I'm going to start with the lead belcher, and I'm going to thin it a little bit with medium. I'm, I use glaze medium. But you can use any kind of medium, and uh, I'm going to start painting all of the details that I want to be silver. There's not too many. I base myself on the uh, artwork for the uh, Emperor's Children, and uh, they're almost all black, except for uh, some details here on the back backpack and uh, on the chest plate. But everything else is just black. So apply this base coat uh, the same way as we applied this, the first one. It's fairly easy, and I'm using a size 2 Kolinsky brush for all of the base coats. Alright, now that that's done, I'm going to paint some uh, details on Balthazar Gold just to bring up a little bit of a difference but uh, I'm only going to use it on the skull here and the uh, arrow and on the bolter and you can also pick some other details that you would like to paint in gold I would suggest uh, keep the gold to a minimum but uh, to whatever you like you can paint more details on gold Next, I'm going to use Ball Red, the wash from the Citadel, and uh, you can use also use uh, Carabur Crimson. I don't have it, so I, I had to go with this. And uh, just start applying it all over the uh, pink. Also, I didn't show you that I painted the bolter on the, on the lead belcher too. All of the uh, steps for the metal are going to be applied to the whole bolter, 
it's gonna be just silver and uh, and gold. Then I'm going to use uh, known oil. This one I'm going to use it for the um, silver parts. And uh, actually, you could leave the miniature like this, like just paint the base coats and and wash it, and have a very uh, pa an army painted very quickly and uh, decent decent looking. Uh, I think that's that's enough. But uh, but of course, I'm going to take it to to the next level and try to paint a little bit more to make it look uh, stand out a little a little bit. Alright, next, and because I forgot, like always, uh, I'm going to paint Rhinox Hide to paint the pouch. I always forget to paint these uh, things, uh, so uh, it it messes the order of the tutorial, but it's the same thing, it's just a base coat. And when, it, when it's dry, I'm going to use Agrox Earthshade for the gold and the leather. It won't have much effect on the, on the leather other than if it's uh, uneven. If the paint looks uneven, it's going to even it out. So uh, that's pretty much it. And for this tutorial, this is going to be all. Thank you very much for watching and follow the link to the second part. It's going to be up soon and I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you later.